In this video, I'm going to talk about how to change from RAID to AHCI mode without having to reinstall Windows on a Dell XPS 13, 7390, and 9350. The one pictured is the 9350. Why would you want to do this? Well, my 9350 comes with 128 megabyte RAM. The 7390, I have 256 RAM and I want to upgrade them to one terabyte. On the 9350, I'm planning to use this crucial one terabyte solid state RAM. And on the 7390, I wanna use this Samsung 970 EVO Plus, also one terabyte. Now these larger RAMs usually function better on AHCI. And in fact, with the Samsung Evo Plus, when you're using the Samsung Magician to clone your drive, it does not recognize the drive in RAID mode. So uh, you would want to change it to AHCI mode previous to changing out the RAM, especially if you're cloning your hard drive rather than doing a clean install. Personally, I don't want to do a clean install, which is why I would want to do this. Um, so initially I would want to cha change to AHCI mode, then clone the drive, and then just switch out the RAMs uh, thereafter. So the way you do this is first you go to Windows here and type in CMD. It opens up the command prompt and you right click it and you click on run as administrator. This box comes up. In this box you type in BCD edit forward slash set space safe boot space minimal and then you press enter and it should say the operation completed successfully and then you restart your computer into safe mode um, so when you restart it or not into safe mode sorry to into the bios and so when you restart the computer, um, at least in the Dell XPS that I have, in order to get into the BIOS, you click on F12. So I'm gonna wait for it to restart here. And um, you just click on F12 as soon as it starts. And then it should open up the BIOS boot menu. And uh, when it does that, you go into BIOS setup, click enter and then it opens up the system configuration and you or, or, or the BIOS thing and you click on system configuration and you click on SAT op, SATA or SATA operations and then it should default at RAID on and you switch that up to AHCI and then you click apply and it asks you if you're sure, you click OK. And then you click Exit. And it should restart the computer. And when it does, it'll restart it in safe mode because of the changes you made. So once you restart the computer, you have to go back into the command prompt menu, uh, which I'll show you here in a second. And so you click on that, click on, you type in CMD, open up the command prompt, right click, click on run as administrator, opens up that box again. And then uh, in that box, you type in BCD edit forward slash delete value space safe boot. And it should say operation completed successfully. You close that out. You restart the computer. And it should start up automatically. Um, and go back to uh, how it was. So this is how you change it into AHCI mode without having to reinstall Windows or start fresh. Um, after you've done this is when you can clone the drive onto your new 
uh, RAM 